Good morning, class. Good morning. Good morning. How's everybody doing? Good. Uh, who knows what we are learning today? Fractions. Great. We are learning fractions. So, um, before we get deep, deep into the fraction uh, um, topic, I would like to share a story with you guys. And just like, I, I just hope that the story will help you understand fractions. Yes. So, once upon a time, there was a faraway land called Fraction Land. <laughs> fraction Land. Who knows who the people that live in Fraction Land were? Just guess. Fraction. fraction. Exactly. <laughs> fraction. <laughs> yeah. So, in Fraction Land lived very happy little fractions, some of them called one half. I met another fraction called three fifths. Great. So today I'm I'm just gonna focus on the story of one half and three fifths because it's a very impressive one. <laughs> one half and three fifths were just you know two people. They really loved each other and they wanted to get married. So mm -hmm. they went to the priest for him to you know um, legalize the marriage. So. Happy fractions, going to the priest, and to get married. Guess what the priest says? Just guess. You can't get married. No. Yeah, exactly. That's unfortunately, I guess you were joking, but that's exactly what happened. So sad. They went to the priest, and unfortunately, the priest said, one half and three fifths. You can't get married. Who knows why? Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh. Because they have different denominators. Exactly. Wait, which one's the denominator and which one's the numerator? Denominator. Good. Did you do, did you did more than the what I asked you in the homework. That's actually good. That's good. So, um, <laughs> what, what I forgot to specify is that in fraction land, as I said, oh, this guy is called one half, this guy is called three fifths. So, one half's first name is the numerator and one half's last name is the denominator. And three fifths first name is the numerator and um, three fifths last name is the denominator. So the first name is the numerator, the last name is the denominator. The reason why the priest couldn't marry them is because they, as you, as you said, had different last names. Unfortunately, in fraction land, there is this legislation that says that you can't get married unless you have the same last name. So, yeah. And by the way, the marriage is symbolized by this sign. Addition. Marriage in fraction mm -hmm. land means addition. So, yeah. In fraction land, as I said, no, if you don't have the last same last name, no marriage. Do you guys think it's the end of the story? No, because I like happy endings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, as I told you last week, remember, if you have a fraction, and you multiply the top and the bottom of the fraction by the same number, you get the same fraction at the end, right? Mm -hmm. So, meaning we can change the last name actually. Like here, let me show you. So one half, we give him, we, we multiply one half by five fifths, we end up with five times one, that's five, five times two, ten. Great, so now, one half can just like wear as a clothes, you know, and pretend that he is what five ten because he can be five ten if he wants. Mm -hmm. And three fifth now, who knows what we can? Maybe, maybe it's too much. But let me just let me just tell you what how it goes. So as I said again, you multiply top and bottom by the same number, and you get the same fraction, just with different clothes. So. Um, three fifths becomes three times two, three. Great, I'm happy you did your homework. And two times five, ten. Awesome, ten. So now they go back to the priest after wearing different clothes <laughs> and pretend they to have maybe now they have the same last name. It's legal. So they go, <laughs> they go five ten. Happy, happy faces, happy smiling. Now problem solved, you know, getting married, just waiting for the plus sign. 
And the priest comes and he goes like, Whoa, marriage? Awesome! <laughs> Great! The priest likes marriages. So he just gives them a flash sign right there. That's the marriage bondage. Now they're happily married. And one year later, one second later, they <laughs> get a baby. Great! <laughs> <laughs> exactly. They get a baby. One year, one second later. Um, <laughs> who knows what the baby's last name is? Yeah. Exactly. Just like in your family, I guess you all have Moen, 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 Moen. Your family is West, West, West. <laughs> exactly, that's the same thing here. So, since mom and dad have the last name Ten, you know, the baby has the last name Ten. And who knows what the, f the, maybe not, let me just tell you. So, the baby's first name would be the mom's name plus the dad's name. That's how it works in fraction land. Mm -hmm. So, six plus five. Great. Awesome. So here is the new baby born. Yay. Eleven ten. Mm -hmm. This is the story of Fraction Land. So happy ending, as I said. I like happy endings. <laughs> so I hope that this helped you understand the topic that we are beginning to um, this week um, about adding fractions. And if you guys don't remember this, I. Uh, when I said last week that you can multiply a fraction, uh, top and bottom by the same number and get a, um, another fraction, I can explain it to you later and we can do many more of these fun things and hopefully you know you'll get it in this, by the end of this day or next day, I promise. Thank you. So let's go back to something else. Thanks, Peter.